Um, early on, whenever I was fishing around the house, one thing that I did when I had a plan to go fishing, I went fishing. I don't care if the weather sucked. I don't care if front was coming in. I exposed myself to, you know, rainy days, cold front days, post frontal days, you know, try to figure out um, what those fish did and how they reacted to certain weather conditions. And um, early on, I actually kept a log of all this. I, I'd write down, you know, what I saw. Um, I was fortunate enough to to live really close to both the Apalachicola River, Lake Seminole, and Deer Point Lake. And Deer Point Lake, I basically was five minutes from the boat ramp there, so I could fish there every day. And it wasn't as good of a fishery as the other two, but that's where oh, another place that I learned a bunch because I could spend so much time out there. Even though it was the same body of water, I could see how those largemouth, those Florida strain largemouth in particular, would react to cold fronts. And, and it gave me the, the confidence and the ability to where whenever I do go down to Okeechobee and I'm fishing for that same Florida strain largemouth and we have a massive cold front come, I know what to, to do. I know what uh, move to make, what adjustment to make. And that's all part of it. You just can't, you can't watch a YouTube video. You can't read about it. It's something that you have to just kind of experience for yourself and, and just expose yourself to as many conditions as possible. Um, and when you know your weakness, say your weakness is skipping boat docks or, or whatever the case might be, you've got to exploit that weakness. You've got to purposely go out there on the water and say, hey, I'm going to skip these boat docks until I get it right, until I, I feel confident in it. And then once you do that, you've added another tool to your toolbox, you know, to use. Um, another big thing is paying attention to little details. And uh, I was sharing with Rich earlier, I had a deer hunt this year in Missouri. It was a black powder hunt. And I try to take, you know, everything has a little bit of a fishing analogy to me. and. I practiced uh, with my rifle, shot it and everything down here in the south. And I'm shooting, for those of you that are unfamiliar, I'm shooting a 209 charge, which is a, a black powder substitute, but it requires a magnum shotgun primer charge. And they're hard to come by as everything else is in the United States. So I found the best thing I could find. And down here in the south, I shot and had no failures. Drove 17 hours up there on a deer hunt, 105 days, nasty weather conditions, cold, and finally got that opportunity. And because of the cold temperatures, that shotgun primer did not set off my charge on a big deer. And that, you know, I was a little bit aggravated at the time, but on the way home, you know, I'm thinking about fishing and I'm thinking that's a good lesson to learn because I'm going to go right home and I'm going to try to control the variables that I can control and I'm going to change out hooks. I'm going to make sure everything's in tip top shape because the smallest little detail and it's even more, it's exponentially greater in fishing because every little detail matters. And if you pay attention to the little details, it makes big differences in the long run. When you go on the water, have a purpose for the day, whether it's exploiting a weakness, whether it's trying to learn something new, whether it's um, you know, you're fishing and it's tough and you're trying to figure out, try to figure out why it's tough. Try to figure out why the fish are doing what they're doing. Have a purpose. Don't just kind of go out there and say, oh, well, it sucked, you know, didn't get the two bites. Figure out kind of why that happened and what you think you could have done, you, you know, to adjust and do something different to maybe get another couple bites or figure out, you know, if it's, uh, if it's something that necessarily, that, that you were fishing in the wrong area or the wrong depth range. Just try to look at the bigger picture and have a purpose for each time you're on the water. 